Hundreds of Illinois gun owners stormed the state house in Springfield today to rally in support of the Second Amendment. The planned protest also turned into a rally for conservative causes that Republicans say are often ignored in the General Assembly. WCI 3's Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. So, Mark, do we know how many people were at that rally today? Paul, it's a good question. The Secretary of State's office says it was just 400 people. The rally organizers say no way. It was much bigger. You should have seen the crowd. You can be the judge yourself here in a moment. However many they were, they brought one big resounding message and delivered it to lawmakers in person. An adamant crowd of Illinois gun owners marched down Capitol Avenue to surround the State House front steps and protest any new gun regulations. The message has to be, we will not comply. We will not comply with a God-given right that you're trying to take away. We will not do it. Republican lawmakers rallied the crowd of gun owners, encouraging a movement to divide the state in two. How many of you think it would be a great idea to separate from Chicago? Yeah. Illinois is under attack. The Chicago socialists continued to work out of the playbook from Alinsky and all the other evil dictators that the first thing they've tried to do is seize your guns. Some signs referenced a civil war. One reading, I'm willing to die to protect gun rights. I think most of the patriots here would. It's, it's the most important amendment that we have. It keeps everything else in line. So if we don't have that, we don't really have anything else. With gun rights as the backdrop, Republican lawmakers hit a chorus of other conservative themes, protesting abortion, higher taxes, and touting their religious faith. God gave us the right. God gave us the right. And inflaming a regional divide between downstate and Chicago. Chicago's not only the problem, our legislature is out of control. Corruption runs rampant, one bad policy after another, leading to one bad financial decision after another. The entire state of Illinois is not being represented equally. In closing, let's build a wall around Cook County and get Chicago to pay for it. Let's make Illinois great again. Hashtag fight for 51. God bless Illinois and God bless you. Thank you. To be clear, that's more punchline than policy. There is no reason to believe that that proposal to split Chicago away from Illinois would ever get a vote here in Springfield. The piece of legislation that could get a vote is a ban on assault weapons. That's the name of the legislation. Some people here today cautioned reporters not to use that word. They disagree with even using the word assault weapon, uh, but that's the name of the legislation that, that the lawmakers have drafted here. A similar ban in Deerfield, a local ban was just struck down by the courts last week. These gun rights advocates hope the very same thing would happen should the state try to enact a gun ban. Live in front of the State House, Mark Maxwell, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Mark, thanks. We know you'll stay on top of that.